Question five. So let's just take out what's important. All right. So told it follows a normal distribution, mean 10, standard deviation 4. And this is the question. What's the probability that x is more than 15? What are you going to do? Going to use a calculator. Okay. Just go through. Pick number 7. All right. And then we need number 2, normal CD. That's cumulative. All right. We're just going to go through there. Now the lower here is 15. The upper, I just put a really high number in, okay, it's just easier. Standard deviation there is 4 and the mean is 10. Easy is that. There you go, and there's our answer. So 0 0.106. Right, so Next part, all right, part B, what have we got to do here? Right, so we need to carry out some hypotheses test here, okay? So some patients complain that in the meantime the doctor spends with the patient is more than 10 minutes. Receptionist takes a random sample of 20. So let's just make a note of what we've got. So we've got, we've got N is 20. Now we've taken a, taken a sample and that sample's given us a mean. So I'm going to try and squeeze everything on here. Obviously, you've got a bit more room to do yours. But what have we actually got just here? So I'm going to say that we've got mean of 10. Now, remember, we're using something called the standard error here because we've got the mean of a sample of 20. So that actually affects like the, the standard deviation of these. Right? We've got them referred to as the standard error. So and that's worked out as a standard deviation divided by root n. Now that's like the key bit to, to know when you're working this out. Now let's write down our hypotheses because really that's what we should be doing first of all. All right so our normal hypothesis is that the mean is 10 and the alternative hypothesis is they think it's increased so we're just going to say that there. Okay now we're working at a five percent level. Now all we're going to do really is we just want to be just interested in does the probability of this this mean of x does it what is it more than 11.5 so all I've got to do is I've just got to put into my calculator the parameters that I've got working with 10 working with the new standard deviation it's called standard error but new standard deviation if you like um, and just put those in and let's just see what we get all right so Working with these, I've got my my lower limit. I'm interested in it being more than 11.5. So I'm going to put 11.5 just there. I'm going to put my my upper limit. Remember, just a really big number. Then our standard deviation. Now the easy thing that I can do here is I can, I can just write it out. I don't need to worry about what it is there. It's four divided by root. 20. Okay, just just do that. That's fine. And then we've still got our 10 there. And I press equals. My wonderful calculator will do all the work for me. And I've got an answer there of 0.0468. Now, now we need to make sense of that. So what that means is, if you imagine like the 5% line, that figure is in this section. Okay, it's in this section. So given those parameters, that would actually be maybe unusual for it to be in that section. So because 0 0.0468 is less than 0 0.05, that supports the alternative hypotheses. Okay, so I'm going to write a longer conclusion there, okay, put it in the context. Um, but basically, it does, it supports that the mean has increased. Right, let's have a look on now. Okay, so we're going to look at part C. Now, we're given some different information here. So, we've got the dentist. All right, so we're talking about dentists now. So, uh, with a patient drawing a routine. Right, okay, so we've got a different model. So, using this model, find a product of routine appointment. Dentist takes less than two minutes. So I'm using these parameters, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the probability 
that t is less than 2. Okay, So I'm just going to put those things into my calculator. I'm right, going to reset it. I did this a moment ago, and I got uh, 6, 8, like that. Right, now this looks a little bit scary in terms of what to do. It's not given that, all right? So we should be confident, right? It's kind of mixed in like a bit of, bit of basic probability with this normal distribution. It just makes it look scary. So we need to do, imagine if, if I wrote this down, A given B, how would you work that out? What you do is you do A intersection B, okay? So when do those two things happen? So in other words, I need to work out the probability about T being between 0 and 2. And then you divide by the B, the given bit. So here it's this. So I'm going to divide by the probability that T is more than 0. So again, I'm just going to use, I'm using these parameters just here. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to work these out on our calculator. Okay, so I've got a lower limit, I've got an upper limit. Right, I just put those in. So I'm going to use my calculator to do that. And these are the figures I've got. Two, three, four, four. And if you do that, that gives you 0.128996. Right, probably gone a bit far there, but it doesn't matter. Right, part three. Hence explain why this normal distribution may not be a good model. Well, it suggests that we're going to get a negative appointment time. Well, that can't be right, can it? So it suggests we get a negative appointment time. I'm not sure how. It'd be quite handy. We could get a negative appointment times, but we can't, can we? Right, OK. Now, the last bit of the question. Let's have a look at this. Right, nice five marks on this bit. So let's try and make some sense about what's actually happening here. So the dentist believes that she cannot complete a routine appointment in less than two minutes. She, sh she suggests that the health centre should use a redefined model only including values when t is more than two. Right, OK, so find the new median time. So let's make some sense of, of what the actual question is. Now, we've already worked out the probability of the time being less than two minutes. So, so that's... That bit in in there. If I call that 0.196, probably make life a little bit easier. Okay, so that's that's that bit. So what we need to do is we need to split the rest of it. So the rest of it together is 0.804. So if we divide that by two, that's 0.402. So we want to split this bit in half. So that section is 0.402, and obviously that section there would be, whoops, 0.402. So the easiest way of working out, so we want to, our new median time would be, would be this point here, because we're, we, we just want halfway between these. So all we need to do is if we add these two together, so that's 0.598, and then we're just going to effectively just do the, the inverse it's called phi but I'm just going to do our inverse normal now I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put our same parameters in so let's just see what happens okay so let's go back just to the beginning we're going to number seven so we're going to pick number three okay and uh, this time so we know what the area is so that's we want that to be 0.598 and our standard deviation, right, that we're going to be working with, which we were told in this question here. So I lost it for a second, just out of shot, wasn't it? 3.5, so 3.5, okay. So we're still working with the same parameters there, and 5, and let's see what we get. So 5 point, so that then gives me 5.8 seven minutes. Oh, and it said one decimal place, so 5.9 minutes. 